All right. This is that once in a lifetime I'm David Rodriguez, owner f man. When you when I have to yeah. What's going on? I'm David Rodriguez, part owner and founder of The Tipping Point. You gotta shop around, man. This is my neighbor. Define tipping point. Damn. A tipping point is the point where something, it's where, that's like a really hard question. You know, when you reach like the audience that you're trying to reach and you have their undivided attention, like, you know, 100% focused on whatever you're doing or whatever your business is doing, or, you know, whatever you're trying to accomplish. That, to me, is, like, the tipping point. So this, um, I guess whenever this thing happened, like, the idea of having a boutique, it, it came from, like, a gap, right, between, like, sneakers, like sneaker boutiques, there was just sneaker shops here, like Foot Action, Foot Locker, Active Athlete, you know, the historic ones that we knew. It kind of sparked more of an idea for us to create something that wasn't here before. And what wasn't here before was like a true shopping experience. I mean, like from the design of the store to whatever, you know, cakes we had at the store. Um, and it kind of made it more clear to, to me and my partners to see like, okay, this is, there's nothing like this here, right? Like you go to LA or New York and there's always like all these shops. Um, and so, you know, just kind of grew, like it was like a snowball effect. Me and the, the guys were really fixated in downtown because the historic side of it, and that nobody had opened anything in downtown Houston, like soft goods like this in like 55 years. I'm from Mexico City, so the punk scene was like really popping. So a lot of the rock bands in Mexico City, one of them in particular is called El Tri. The guy, the lead singer, his name is Alex Lora. I used to love the way he dressed, you know, because he just dressed so free and everybody wanted to be like him. But then I came to America and believe it or not, bro, like Lenny Kravitz was like a big style dude for me. I was like, man, I want to dress like that dude. You know what I mean? I wanted to get like my nose pierced. Um, and just, I, I felt like he felt comfortable wearing whatever he wore. Kind of like a modern day Prince, you know what I mean? Like, Prince used to wear some crazy shit. I couldn't dress like Prince, but Lenny Kravitz did that in like a more like avant-garde way. I mean, the dude will come out in like see-through shirts and you can see his nipples and stuff. And he felt comfortable in that, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, yo, that, that guy's cool. Right now, this is probably like my favorite shirt here in the store, only because it kind of reflects the state of where we are. I think us, like younger people, we kind of are at that point right now. Like, I'm so bored right now uh, without this nonsense that's going on, you know? Style is like super important for me because style, you can make it your own. That's what style means. Like having your own flavor, your own thing that you're known for amongst your friends or whatever group of people. It's very important for me. The whole point of me opening the store is to give confidence to kids that don't have that confidence because of their parents or their background or their, you know, their own psyche, right? Like some of us just grow up thinking that we're not good enough because our parents tell us you can't do this. And you, like in Latin culture, it's very prominent where your parents sometimes they're the ones that tell you you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this versus telling you, you can, you can, you can. So this is just like a saying like, yo, you can, you know, I'm an immigrant kid.